numbers of red squirrels on, on the Sefton coast is very much reduced compared to how it was three years ago. So in the past people might remember going to Formby Reserve and seeing red squirrels all running around on the, on the ground and getting to feed them and it being a really nice experience. And unfortunately we just don't have that many left here. The strategy for red squirrel conservation as it stands at the moment is to designate refuge and buffer zone areas. So we try to concentrate effort on areas that we know we have a good red squirrel population and they are manageable to stop grey squirrel incursion. Anywhere where grey squirrels can move in, they carry the threat of carrying squirrel pox. The Sefton Coast uh, woodlands are designated as a national refuge and we've worked for many, many years um, towards having a good red squirrel population here. Unfortunately, only this week we've had uh, a new case of squirrel pox in Blundell Sands and we had hoped that that area was, was going to be free of squirrel pox. So it's really bad news um, and it means we really need to get this message out and get people helping us. Red squirrel conservation is very underfunded. We um, rely on money from the Wildlife Trust, um, from government organisations such as Natural England, um, charities such as the National Trust. Um, there's no actual pot for red squirrel conservation if you like. Um, and we're always having to sm fund small projects to try to get the money that we need. If you were ever going to help out Red Squirrel Conservation, now is the time to do it. Please donate to Red Squirrel Conservation through the Big Give. The minimum you can pledge is £5 and they will um, double that pledge. Uh, if you'd like to donate, um, now is the best time to do it. You can double your money at www.thebiggive.org.uk.